everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a college apartment tour of Easton Ave Apartments at Rutgers University. And if you go to Rutgers, hopefully this will be helpful if you just want to see like what your living options are like. And I know it's extremely frustrating to go online and try to see your options, but there's no pictures. And although, you know, Easton is a little bit crusty, a little dusty and a little rusty, um, especially if you have like really high standards of living. And if you compare it to like the yard or Livy, then you might be a little bit or like very disappointed. You know, it's not the greatest, it's not that bad. Like it really isn't. And it still is a really good option to live that's like considered on campus and on College Ave. And if you are a sophomore, then you are extremely lucky because because I almost didn't get Easton as a junior. So just keep that in mind. And it's pretty much like impossible to get anything nicer, um, like the yard or Livy apartments if you're not a senior. Even if you are a senior, you still might not get it. Like I didn't get, you know, the yard for next year. So this is pretty much as good as it gets. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you do, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and let's just get right into it. So this is how it looks like when you first walk in. There's a place for the trash and each floor has its own trash room and trash bag so you don't have to buy any which is really nice. And this is what the kitchen looks like. The only thing that I really didn't like about the like all white countertops was that it got stained super easily and we forgot to just get that door replaced. And here is our very old stove, um, but it worked perfectly fine. Just the numbers on it faded off a little bit. And I think most of the apartments have like an updated stove. And here's the sink and cabinet space, which was honestly like a lot. It was a good amount and there was enough space for all four of us to put all of our things inside. And here is the living room. All of the furniture comes with the apartment, so you don't have to buy anything, which is also really nice. The only thing I would say to definitely buy for the living room is to get string lights or something like that because there's not an actual light fixture like in the room, so it gets pretty dark in there. And here's our little dining table with, you know, not the prettiest chairs in the world, but they were comfortable. And here is the hallway, which leads to the bathroom, the two bedrooms, and the like outdoor sinks. And there is a light in the hallway, which is really nice. This little area is really good. Probably like the only area in the apartment that's really good for lighting. And there's a huge light above the sinks as well, which is also really bright. And a ton of space to put stuff like underneath the sink. And here are the bedrooms, which are obviously right next to each other. And this is my room. At this time, my roommate already moved out, but here is what it looks like. And the light in here is only on like one side of the wall, not on the ceiling, which I also don't know why. So I would recommend getting string lights for your room as well, because it will be pretty dark if you don't have anything else in there or like a lamp. And I pretty much, I didn't do too much with my walls other than just put lights and pictures. And here's the closets, which were a pretty good size. I didn't have any problems with like fitting my clothes in there or shoes and stuff like that. And at the top, there is a shelf, which I just put shoes and books and other random things. And then at the bottom, I also had more shoes. And I put my dresser right behind my bed so that I can have a headboard because it wasn't propped up against the wall. And I just kept my, you know, folded clothes in there. And here is my bed. I put it on the highest setting that it could go so that I could fit as much stuff underneath as possible. And then I also had this um really big like three-tier container with more clothes i just had like water laundry detergent and a bunch of other random things
here is the desk and I just put like highlighters pens pencils and my makeup and just things that I use on the daily and more pictures on the wall and there's a nice big window the only thing that kind of sucks is that the blinds are on the outside like not the inside so you can't ever roll them up all the way but it was still bright enough and there's just two drawers and a pull-out drawer in the desk which i just kept like books and school stuff and just other random things in there and here's just an overview of the room which it's pretty big enough and spacious for two people and it's definitely a lot bigger than like the typical two people dorms that Rutgers has and now going into the bathroom which was also like big enough or I guess bigger than I thought it would be um, so there's definitely like enough space in here and when we moved in obviously they cleaned everything but the tub had like a little bit of scenes in the corner which was really hard to get out and kind of just stayed there um, so it wasn't the nicest thing but it really wasn't that bad And you could just put your towels there. And that's what the bathroom looks like. And that's pretty much it for this tour. That's what Easton Ave apartments look like. And I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.